Okay. I'm going to do a tier list of stream snipers. Made by Fartimore. Okay, made by Fartimore. There you go. This is who's the best stream sniper. Okay, so Floopies, I feel like is pretty good. I think that's right. Troll, I have no idea who this even is. Can, can I make like a completely unmemorable list? Like, can I make another thing here? I don't know who you are. Yeah, that's even below F. Made absolutely no impression on me whatsoever. We're, <laughs> dude, I don't remember as many of these people as I thought I did. Billy Mays was pretty fucking good. Billy Mays might have been like Kanye too. This guy's a B. This guy might even be A. Dude, I need more tiers. I need like a super F tier. Geechan, definitely F. Possibly even super F tier. We need to, we need another tier. We'll do F minus. Geech was horrible. From what I remember. Girl does not mean bad, all right? Because there were some very good girls that played. B2B champ. Oh, dude, this is the Dr. Disrespect guy, D. Maybe C, probably D. Mags, D. Everyone's D tier. D's just kind of like, I don't know if they're D or C. I'll work it out a little bit. Mango, A. Connor eats pants. He's either top of B or like bottom of A. But thing is like, Floopies might be better. Mango is better than Connor. Kanye is A. Prezzo is B or A. I think Prez is better than Connor, but maybe I'm wrong. You're a simp. How am I a simp when like all the girls are on the bottom? That's like anti-simp. Prez is good. Hot girl, one, two, three, F. Also F because their internet always crashed our lobbies, but uh, I'll put them at F. Swish, Woy, F minus. <laughs> uh, Rit is A. <laughs> Swish. It's okay. You're getting better. You're getting better. <laughs> so I don't have to make like F minus minus tier. You don't have a new tier for you. So that's good. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, maybe, all right, you know what? We'll bump you up to F. You have been getting better for sure. Definitely better than Geech. Better than Geech. Jiho is S. Jiho's fucking insane. Dampe, F, just because of the name. Fartimore. Fartimore, I don't know where to put him. Fartimore is like, almost always total dog shit, but somehow gets first like two times a night. I don't get it. Yeah, he's like crazy inconsistent. I don't know. I'll put him at like bottom B. Snurgles is like either top of A or S. The thing is, there's like three people that I think are a little bit better than Snurgles and that's it, I think. There's like two people that win like every time when they play. S should be people who are clearly better than you. Well, then there'd be nobody in S, obviously. So that's a stupid idea. Poop Stevens, I actually remember being pretty good. Poop Stevens was like a B. I think it's a pseudonym of someone else. So they're probably already on this list, but he was pretty fucking good. Six Papayas, D. Don, S. Rob Zarino, A or B. Rob is pretty good. Bryson, D. <laughs> he just, he's just really annoying a lot of the time and hits me with stuff and I don't like that. All right, you know what, fine Bryson, you're C. Okay, congratulations. Bro, bro. You totally scam Papayas. Oh shit. Papayas is the guy with the, that uses motion controls. This guy's A. I haven't played with this guy in forever. Dylan is, is Dylan better than Swishwoy? Is he though? Dylan's high F. Dylan's better than me? All right, fine, fine. I'll put him in F just to be nice. That's fair. Give him S. He's probably better than F, but it's really hard for me not to put him in F. Tell you what, I'll put him in D. Fruit Yoshi, I don't think Fruit Yoshi's better than Snurgles. And I think Snurgles is the gatekeeper of S tier, but I think Fruit Yoshi is better than Mango. I'm Mags and I definitely do better than you on average, but how can you do better than me on average if you're in D tier? <laughs> I don't understand. And then Pokimane, A. Definitely A. The one guy that's not on this list is Doodle. Doodle showed up in our lobby and won probably like 18 races in a row. It was fucking insane. It, it was like, he was like SS tier. I, dude, Doodle was insane. Doodle would win like every single race by like half a lap. It was fucking nuts. It was nuts. It's like the best player I've seen. Ever. He's so good, it's like he transcended the list. Dude, Brit's better than Prezzo. Six Papayas is better than Prezzo. Pokemon's probably better than Prezzo. Rob's is probably better than Prezzo. Pogchamp's probably better than Prezzo. But I'm not dropping Prezzo any more than that. Where would I put myself? Great question. I'm like, dude, top of B? Shut the fuck up. Top of B. I'm definitely in A tier somewhere. I wanna say that I sneak into S tier. I sneak into S tier. Dude, Furyoshi can't keep up with this shit. 
He can't keep up with this shit. 200cc doesn't count. That's a fake game mode. Do you go pull? No, because they're just gonna troll me. I sneak into S tier. What do you mean? Yeah, right. Dude. Dude, free Yoshi, that's that's so troll because I get I get stream sniped. It's not fair. And everyone protects you. Plus, the first night I played against you, I lost like 30 in a row because I was drunk off Benadryl. I swear. I took a Benadryl and I was just fucking blasted. Also, yesterday I was on Benadryl. Man, dude, Benadryl is so addicting. It's just crazy. I've improved! I have, that's, dude, that's, that's the real thing. That's the real thing. Fruit Yoshi, you beat up on me when I was a little guy, you know? I didn't find my Wario, I was playing Metal Peach. I know what I'm doing now. No, you don't beat up on me. Dude, I won like, how many, how many, dude, how many did I win in a row today, chat? With him in the lobby? Zero, no, I won five in a row, five in a row. We're gonna say six because it's one off and that's nitpicking. I'm just gonna raise it to six. No one's gonna call me out for that. We're raising it to six. I feel like you can lie about one higher because it's like, if someone calls you out on it, it's just like, oh wow, dude, you're just nitpicking this guy. He's just a fucking, he's a pencil pusher. He's just, oh yeah, you care so much. Oh, I'm one off, big deal. So we're gonna raise it to six. And you know what? If anybody calls me on that shit, they're, they're lame. Six in a row. And he thinks he's better than me. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely like right here, right here. I want to say I'm better than circles, but I'm probably not. But I want to say that I am but I'm probably not, but I, we'll say that I am. I'm right here. Don's definitely better than me. <laughs> you suck at 200cc, fake game mode, fake game mode. Where would I rank A, 54%. Okay, so I'm right in between A and S because the other 46% voted S. I agree. I'm like right, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm pretty, I'm pretty nasty. Can I have a redemption round, please? Are you disputing the fact that you're an F minus? At least you're ahead of, um, the I don't know who you are tier. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> I don't know if that is a good thing or not. We'll do another list really fast. Dude, what the fuck? How do I have these? I have this many mods? Look at all these mods. Who the fuck are these people? I have like three mods. I never see like 90% of these people in chat. Okay, wait, I have to ask though. Is this, this is not about who I, shit. This, okay, the way that this list has to work is this isn't just a popularity contest. This is just who does a good job modding. That's what we're doing, right? Otherwise, this is an incredibly dangerous list. You do so well, not so good, Prezzo. That's knocking you down a tier. It's a fucking idiot. I don't know if I can do this list. This list is too dangerous. Let's just look at this list and just go through the people that I don't even know who they are. Mango, great mod. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this. I definitely can't do this tier list. We need a different tier list. <laughs> I need to remove some mods. I totally forgot I had like half those people modded. Ma yeah, Mango's not even a mod, he's VIP. <laughs> okay, Zelda games, we'll do this quick. This picture is really tiny and I can't really tell what game this is. What is this game? Link to the past. Link Between Worlds? Didn't finish it. I got to the water temple like near the end. I think you could do the dungeons in whatever order you wanted, but I didn't really like it that much. Not a big fan. Is this Zelda 2? This is Link to the Past. Okay, this is gonna be weird. I kind of want to put in an S, but I'm gonna put in an A for now. Is this a Link to the Past or is this Link's Awakening? Never played it. I'm gonna put it in D. Majora's Mask, A. Zelda Ocarina of Time is my favorite game ever made and it's not even close. Never played this, never played this. Oh. Phantom Hourglass I have played and it's horrible. Let's do this. Wait, I played Link's Awakening on the Switch. It was okay. If I played that back in the day, B. I would have really liked that if I played that. I know it's the new one, but like I can, st I still feel like it's pretty good. Skyward Sword, I want to replay it and feel if I change my mind, but this is like top of C, bottom of B. The if this is the original Zelda, B. I kind of like it. I played it on my DS, pretty good. If this is Link 2, Link 2, terrible, terrible, terrible game. S tier Wind Waker, Twilight Princess A, Breath of the Wild. This game is so hard to rate because the first time I played it, I thought it was here but it has like no replay value at all because it's dungeons are terrible. And like a lot of these other games have great dungeons. When I replayed this, I didn't even want to finish it because 
I was just bored. Like the exploration's gone. I remember too much about it. Neither does OT. Dude, OT is great. Re oh my God. Dude, there's a million reasons why OT is such an insane game. OT did so much stuff like first ever. Like the fact they had all those different items and they interact in all those different ways. And it has the best soundtrack of like any game ever made. It's so good. And the dungeons are good too. And it came out in like 90, seven or like 98 or something. Wow, you named two things. I named huge, huge things. So my top, I don't know where to put Breath of the Wild. It's like in A. I don't know where to put some of these. Link of the Past is probably my third favorite Zelda and it might be S. Skyward Sword, I'm gonna replay it and I wanna see if I change my mind. I'll put it in B. Well, whatever. I think this is my list. The ones that I'm really curious, it's so hard to rank like this A part. I, I like Majora's Mask definitely more than Twilight Princess, but I don't think I like it more than Breath of the Wild, even though they're wildly different games. These are my top three. Nothing's gonna get above Ocarina of Time. I'm dead set on Wind Waker being the second best. I'm pretty set on Link to the Past being the third best. And then these four, I just don't know how to rank them. I don't know how to rank Skyward Sword either. Maybe I replay this and it, it shoots itself into this, but the parts that I remember about Skyward Sword, I'm not a huge fan of. A lot of these I never played, but the DS ones, I'm adamant that they're terrible. Um, Minish Cap is way better than Link Between Worlds. The first Zelda is better than people think it is. Link's Awakening, people think is pretty good already. But yeah, that's my list. Well, let's play Skyward Sword, fuck it. Let's all acknowledge that every Zelda game is amazing. Yes, except these in D tier and F tier. Except those. Those like eight games. I'll do more tier lists in the future. You want a hoodies tier list? Oh my God. Can I do this one quick? Is this even all my hoodies? Hmm. This one, A. It's a pretty good hoodie. This one is the one that I'm wearing right now. C, don't really like it that much. This green one's sweet. This one has shot up the ranks. I really like this green one. This isn't a hoodie. It's a shirt I wear one time because I never wear polo shirts. It's definitely an E if not F. I don't really like this one either, but it's easy to put on because it has a zipper. I'm gonna put it as C. I can't even tell what this is. Is this just like my basic gray one? I guess it's fine. It's like D. I hated this hoodie. Mint hoodie is a classic. Mint hoodie's a, mint hoodie's a classic. This orange hoodie I really like too. This red one, don't like it. This gray one is worse than this one. You know what, this one gets bumped up a little bit. This orange one's B, this yellow one's D, this one's S. That seems about right. I need new hoodies. Yeah, it was pretty easy. Here's what happens a lot of the time. I'm lazy, I don't wash my clothes. I go to the, the pile of hoodies that I have and I'm like, let me put on one of these hoodies in the S or A tier. Other than this one, this is just like a special but it's still S. And I'm like, God, this just stinks. I can't wear this. And that's when I put on one of these that has a zipper. And I'm just like, okay, fuck it. I'm putting on a zipper one. That's exactly what happened today. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm putting on the zipper one. I am not going through the effort. Dude, I wash frequently, okay? But just sometimes I wear these hoodies for like two hours and I stop streaming. Do I really need to wash that? Come on, you gotta be kidding. I do these short streams and then like instantly ditch the hoodie and then just go in like the family room and watch TV. Promote the black, white, checkered one. As, you know what, I will. Because as far as these ones that have the zipper, this, like this black, the black, white, checkered one is better than this one. Why is teal so low? You mean this one? This hoodie I wore for a small amount of time and I got rid of it. I gave it to my sister's boyfriend, <laughs> which sounds like a simp thing or something. But he was just going through my old clothes and he was like, oh, this is good. This is a, this is a sick hoodie. And I was like, yeah, sure, get take it. I never wear that shit. I don't even like it. It's not like he stole it from me or anything. But yeah, mint orange. This green one's really good too. This one used to be S, but it's kind of like, it, I've washed it so many times. It doesn't feel like as smooth as it used to. So it's fallen, but this green one might move up. I like the orange one more than the green one though. So I feel like I kind of got to put the green one in A. I don't like the yellow one. One thing about the yellow one is that it's shrunk in the wash and the head hole is like ridiculously small. So like to take it off is a huge pain in the ass. And everyone tells me that it looks like I'm wearing a shirt covered in piss, which makes me not really like it that much. No, my head is not that huge. It's like slightly bigger than normal and how come my head can fit in all these other hoodies totally fine except this one?